What's happening, guys? How are you guys doing here tonight, this evening, from Phoenix, Arizona? So as you guys can see, I kind of switched it up a little bit. I normally make my vlogs facing that way, but I say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do it this way, this time, for the fans. So I'll go back and forth from this camera and the GoPro camera. For this video, we're going to talk about how do I go about choosing a foreign language to learn? Okay, so there's a couple scenarios, all right? Let's say you have a person who always wanted to learn a language because of a couple things. A, their heritage, you have people in their family able to speak that language, their in-laws, okay? And this is the reason why they wanted to try to learn a foreign language. Then you have the people who are just inspired. They say, you know what, I'm inspired. This is really motivating me. I want to try to learn language, but I just don't know which language to learn. Look at your demographics in your city, wherever you live at, and see what languages are in great abundance there. What languages are commonly spoken there, Spanish, Chinese, Korean, or whatever. See if the language that you're interested in is spoken in, in that city where you live at. If there is like a large community speaking that language, then you can use the internet, of course. Okay. Yeah, they have a lot of different places where you can practice foreign languages. Um, they have applications such as HelloTalk. Um, I'm not really familiar with a lot of um, online chat rooms. I know they're speaky. Um, there used to be ShareTalk before they uh, closed down. But I think the best right now is HelloTalk. That's the one that I normally use. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous how good it is to uh, connect with the native speakers. You can also use italki. Now, italki is a little different. It's not really a chat room. It's basically a place where you can find native speakers to meet with who can help you uh, learn whatever language you're trying to learn. Now, for those of you who are just inspired and want to get started learning a language because you're inspired, you're just motivated. Okay, you watch so many level of videos, you say, oh man, this guy, he, this guy done got me motivated, man. I'm, I want to start learning a language, but I just don't know which language to learn. Now, what I just explained about looking at the demographics, this can apply to you as well. And this is really be good for you because this will help you to determine, okay, well, since a lot of, there are a lot of Koreans in this area, I'm going to learn Korean. It's a no-brainer. It's just like being in the country. You have those opportunities around you to practice the language. It, it makes sense. You can go to the grocery store. You can go to Asian market. You can go to you know restaurants. You know churches or whatever. So search your city to top five languages, okay, and choose from that top five and say, okay, I'm going to try that language and see how that goes. If I don't like that language, then I'm going to try this one. So you got like four or five languages to choose from. Now, many of you know that I travel very often around the United States. So certain languages that I can't practice in my city, I have to go to other cities. I'm doing that for my audience. I got a lot of followers and they enjoy watching level of videos and they like the diversity. So in order for me to get a particular language in, I have to travel to a different state to do that. Uh, soon I'll be traveling to different countries, but for now, I'm traveling around the United States to get these uh, these languages in. I want to talk about experience that I had. OK, now, when I was living in Columbus, Ohio, I told my followers Columbus has a large population of Somalis. I believe Columbus, Ohio has a second largest population of Somali people. I can't remember exactly what video it was that I made, but I told them that, look, I want to go ahead and I'm going to start learning Somali from zero. And you guys are going to watch my progress. I'm going to be uploading videos regularly, you know, going out, leveling up, little lesson videos, whatever, those type of video, you know, to show my followers the progress. I did that. And a lot of you saw uh, how much Somali I was learning and see, I have an idea of what to learn, what not to learn, what to avoid, which will help speed up the process. But the main thing for your progress the, to really learn things fast, you have to be speaking a lot. You can do that in chat rooms, too, but you need to have that interaction. 
and see I was practicing Somali I had it didn't make any sense I could go to an Asian market I can go to a, an American market grocery store and I can get Somali and every time it didn't even really matter where I went I was getting Somali at Walmart the candy store it, it didn't even really matter it was just it was ridiculous it, it, it was crazy it was just like it was second nature and that helped me to learn a whole lot of Somali this is very important because this is why most people go to the country to learn a language because of the exposure. You know, unfortunately, if you're living in a city where the the language isn't spoken, then you have to use either the Internet or you have to travel. I don't think most people are willing to travel, especially if they're already busy. I just want to talk a little bit about that today because this is a very common question. I know a lot of people are interested in learning languages, but they don't know what language to learn. Then you have those people interested in learning a language like Polish, for example, because their in-laws are from Poland and they want to be able to talk with them. That's why I always encourage people to speak with people. It doesn't matter if it's first week or whatever. Try to have some interaction so you can get used to talking with them because it's not easy. Everyone can do it, but you have to the people who are feeling uncomfortable like how I was. You have to build yourself up and then you build yourself up by small steps. You know, a couple words, say to someone, and then you just keep doing that. You just keep doing that. Build yourself up, build your confidence up because that's what it's all about. Introvert or shy, or whatever, you're going to have to get over that. If you are in that category, you know what you got to do. You have to come out of your comfort zone. And um, if you don't come out of your comfort zone, you're not going to learn. At least being able to speak, you're not now, being able to read and stuff. That's different because you don't have to speak with people. But if you want to be able to communicate with people, you're going to have to come out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to talk with people. That's just the bottom line. That's the topic for this vlog for this week. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, do leave them in the leave them in the uh, comment section. And I'll go through these comments here and, and, and see what I can talk about in the next vlog. These vlogs, um, I'm going to be making them every other week. They're going to be bi-weekly, okay? So, thanks for viewing. Uh, welcome to all the uh, new subscribers. Um, I'm glad you're, you guys are enjoying the videos. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the videos. You guys, be safe. Enjoy your holidays. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Lao Shu.